Hi, gang. Hello. Welcome once again to Stuff and Things Plays. I'm your good friend Bradley. That's our good friend Lincoln. Today we are playing Tears of the Kingdom, what might already be one of my favorite games of all time. This is so good. I'm loving it so much. Hopefully you guys are enjoying watching it as well. Um, in the last episode, we jumped into the depths for the very first time, and we're trying to find Robbie. I went uh, to the overworld one more time, and I went and got some more weapon slots from Hestu. I found him at uh, Lookout Landing, so that was nice. But I have come back here. We need to find Robbie. We have some enemies to clear out. We have to just kind of figure out what's going on in the depths in general. It's just such a cool mechanic that you're lighting things up. Um, there's the gloom everywhere. Like, I don't know. It looks so cool and so alien. It's just... Ugh. I've, I've, I've seen a tiny fraction of this game so far, and I'm already so insanely impressed. So Robbie is supposed to be to the west somewhere. Um, I think this is where I was last time when I was in the depths. And so Robbie must be over here somewhere, I guess. So I think we need to clear these guys out, and then we need to keep going west. I wish, is there a way to make your mini-map so it doesn't shift with you? Special controls. What's this? Shield surf. Oh, okay. Uh, options, minimap, minimap, minimap. Is there anything with the minimap? Oh yes, lock minimap to north. That's what I want. Okay, now I know what direction I'm facing in all the time. That is good. Okay, so we have to get rid of these guys. The gloomy men. I also realized as I was looking through, oops, some of my ingredients, there you go, that I had, um, it was sundalions that can make a meal that will cure gloom like if you get hurt by gloom it takes away your hearts apparently <coughs> and they won't come back until you get back to the surface and so the sundaline meals that i made let me show you one actually uh where is that here so sunny steamed meat it'll restore hearts damaged by gloom so that's useful very useful let's shoot this guy with something he's throwing stuff at me there you go. Beautiful. Oh, so, so when you freeze them, it seems like it kills them immediately, which is very... Oh! Where'd you come from? Do, 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 serpentine. Beautiful. So far, things have not been super difficult down here in the depths. I'm sure that's going to change. But I just... I love it. I love it so much. It's so freaking cool. Okay, we have some Zonite here, too. That's the other thing. I want to try to get um, new charges for my batteries. And oh, to do that, you have to get Zonite, and then you have to get the Crystallize Zonite, or whatever it's called. So I was looking into that. I went back to the mine to see exactly how many I have to exchange to get the Crystalline charges, I think they're called. And then you have to uh, exchange those with the dude that we found near Lookout Landing, one of the constructs that had fallen down. Anyway. Lots going on, lots to upgrade, lots to figure out. Let's see if we can look around and see where old Robbie might be. So right now I'm facing west and I don't see anything other than there's one of those bright roots. I think they're called bright roots. So maybe we'll go in that direction. We'll turn that on and maybe that'll give us an idea of where Robbie is. I'm seeing more bomb flowers. I want to grab those whenever I see them. Let's do some of this. See if we have anything of interest here. Nice. No. <laughs> Nothing in here? Huh. Yeah, I guess there was an arrow. Okay, let's grab a bomb flower. So we've got a lot of gloom over here. Uh, bright bloom seed. Will that work if I put it in the gloom? Yeah. More bomb flowers, more bomb flowers. Muddle buds. All right, let's head towards this route. There's a flyy enemy over there. Interesting. Oh, I alerted somebody. Okay, let's be careful. We don't want to just walk into an ambush here. Oh, does he see me? It might just be one guy. Oh, he saw me. Oh, damn it. <laughs> Everybody saw me. Oh, he's got, he's got elemental arrows. Let's get a better weapon here. Bash ya. Okay, he's already dead, Link. <laughs> Let's 
it's nice having those extra inventory spots. Beautiful Link. Mm. Oh, and he's got Zonite or eight, whatever the hell. Grab it all, man. What is this thing? What is this thing? Holy mother of God. Oh, <laughs> one arrow and he's gone. What is this thing? Oh, we've seen these. Arrowcuda. Arrowcuda wing. Arrowcuda eyeball. Arrowcuda. Uh-oh. He's trying to burn me. Schniz. Uh, let's use one of these. Use my weak bows first. Ooh. There we go. Okay, look, there's Zonite everywhere here, so I guess the depths are where you need to go to get the Zonite. Lots of good stuff. Fire fruit. All right, let's get our big rock hammer. Oops, wrong. Let's get our big rocky hammer. And let's smack some of this schniz. I want another battery really badly. I also want, I know that there are these like control sticks, like little joysticks you can get for the Zonite devices, and we haven't found any of those yet. And I really want one of those. I want to make a flying machine. And I need something to, to control it. Grab these guys, the puff shrooms. Oh, another thing I did. Uh, where is that? I think that's a Hinox toenail on my shield right now. But I also did one with a fan on it. But it broke really quickly. Um, and it seemed like maybe it would kind of... Uh, come on, Link. Maybe it would kind of... Uh, blow enemies but it didn't really seem to do it but i don't know there's so many cool little options that you could do for putting things on shields i don't know there's just a thousand things that i need to look into here I'm just trying to grab all the resources we can now there's the dark root i guess i don't even need to do this right now because the dark root is right there and this will light everything up hey grab it could go up here see if there's anything going on. Oh. Okay, explodey barrels. Alright, yeah, Zonite everywhere. Okay, let's get to that dark root. I guess I'll shoot one more. Light things up a little bit. I mean, this right here could be its own game. This whole area, this could be... Like a really cool exploration game when you're in this pitch black area you have to light everything up as you go i just cannot believe what nintendo has done with this game it's just remarkable oh, these little guys can't remember what they said these were for but i'm gonna grab one deep firefly i think it'll just make an elixir that lights things i should try that actually are we safe here Let's grab a Zonai device. Let's get the portable pot. And, oh, oh no, did I just fuse that to my arrow? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I didn't realize that that's what I had just done. Can I unfuse that? That's weird. So it's not on my arrow anymore, so maybe I didn't waste it. Let's switch back to this. Let's grab a, this. Okay, I can just drop it. Okay, I want to try to cook something that will light up. Compound and close, close looks will allow you to move more quietly, so I don't want that. Add a faint glow to anyone who consumes it. Okay, let's get a couple of these. So it has to be an elixir, so I need a monster part for it. So I guess just like a bokoblin horn or something? Uh, yeah, let's just use two of these. Let's see what happens. I want to do more experimentation here. A bright elixir grants a low-level glow effect, illuminating your immediate surroundings. This faint luminescence is a boon in dark places. Okay, I want to... Oh, well, yeah, I guess I only get one use. I'm going to try that next time. We'll make a few more of those. Oh, look at that. Oh, wow. There's another big encampment. Cool. I wonder if I shoot 
Uh, if I can get far enough to light them up without them all coming to attack me. <laughs> Who turned on the lights? Is that Robbie? I think that might be Robbie. Hey, there he is. Okay, let's turn this on. Ayasus Light Root. I just love this. The, all the mechanics overlapping each other. It's like a freaking onion. So many things to do. It's amazing. And it just so, it looks so beautiful. Can you tell that I like the game yet? Take a look at the map once we turn this on. Bing! Cool. We've got our fast travel point now. Beautiful. Okay, and so it overlaps, too. The light route dispelled the darkness and brightened the surrounding area. Okay, let me look at that again. Okay, thank you. All right, so we're here. We started out over here. I want to switch up. I thought as much. Okay, I suspected this. Look at where the um, shrine is in the overworld. And look where they are here, where the bright roots are. They completely coincide with the shrines on the overworld, at least thus far. All right, let's see what, well, let's see what Robbie's up to. Robbie boy. He's going to teach us how to use the camera, apparently. What? Look at how bright that thing got. That light, that light down in this dark is downright refreshing. Hmm. In fact, it's so luminous, it's almost like, like we're on the surface. Just standing near it makes me feel so much better. How strange. Hey, it's you. You finally noticed? You're finally here. I need to show you what I found. This statue, it's standing tall on two legs, one arm raised high. It looks an awful lot like the figure Joshua showed us in the piece of slate, don't you think? All right, get that camera of yours ready. It's time to put it to work. That's right, I forgot you hadn't used the camera when we last spoke. Very curious indeed, given it's one of the Purapad's basic features. He's calling Link an idiot. Mm, give me that Purapad for a second, all right? Well, there's a problem. Or there's the problem. Your camera is locked, and so is your Hyrule Compendium. Oh, the Hyrule Compendium. Because in Breath of the Wild, you could take pictures of... I don't know if it was just creatures or whatever, and you could fill out, like, a journal. Hang on. If I remember correctly, you press this while you pull this, and then you tap that, and... ba 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 boo All right, so that's another thing in our little wheel. Capture images using the Pura Pad. You can then save them to the album. Okay, so it's creatures. Oh, it's all sorts of things. It's creatures, enemies. Boom! Now you should be able to use both the camera and your Hyrule Compendium. Go! Oh, so, go capture a picture of that statue. This is a good chance to verify that it's working properly, too. Test it out. Experience is the best teacher, after all. Once you've captured the image, come back here. I want to see how it looks. Okay, so we need a picture of that thing. Let's open up this. Uh, map, album, and compendium. So we have creatures, monsters. Oh, my lord. Every material? So am I just supposed to throw a bunch of things on the ground and take pictures of it? Oh my god, <laughs> this is insane. And treasure, that's interesting, just six treasures. So I bet there's some reward for filling this out completely, but if we tally this up, there are hundreds of things that we would have to capture. That's absolutely insane. Okay, let's take a picture of this. I want to get a better angle. Oh, there's another one. Is that doing the same thing? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Camera. Statue with raised arm. Yeah. Looks good to me. Hey, you. How'd that go? If you've captured an image of that statue with your camera, then hurry up and show me. I'd like to see how it looks. Here you go, Robbie. So, did you get a good picture? <laughs> Stupendous! 
Looks like you've captured it well. I'm sure Joshua will be satisfied with this. Lighting up that immense root, getting us a picture of the statue. You've just started helping us research what's down here, but soon enough we're going to have even more to investigate. Well then, it's time I head back up to the surface. <laughs> See you at Lookout Landing. Don't make Joshua wait too long for that picture. All right, so we have a little quest to go back to Joshua now. Camera work in the depths. Go back to Joshua. Um, obviously, we're going to be spending a lot of time exploring down here. This is awesome, and it seems like a good place to get Zonite. Oh, people see me? These are the dudes that we harassed before with our our shiny root. Our bright root. We could kill them. I do want some more Zonite. I want to get another battery charge, and I really want to find one of the control sticks. I think we'll probably find those things maybe up in the air in the Sky Islands. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I thought I just saw something over here. Let's see if we can harass these fools. Are they hearing me or something? They've got little question marks. Careful, Link. Don't want to alert everybody. Oh, look. See, they're mining Zonite. Oh, why am I sliding down? It's not wet here. Oh, see, like the Moblin is making them work, it looks like. Oh, there are two Moblins. Yikes. Hmm. That seems dangerous, but there's a lot of stuff here. There's a chest. There's a lot of Zonite. I want to take him out. I really want to take him out. What's my best bet here? There's nothing I can grab, is there? I can grab those, but they're too far away. I need to take the moblins, at, moblins out first. If I put a bomb on, or no, maybe I'll do chew jelly. And then we go with... What does a ruby do when you shoot it? Holy shit. Whoa. I don't want to waste those because they're worth a lot of money, but my God, that's insane. Hello. Wow. And just like that, we've completely cleared this encampment. That's crazy talk. All right. Let's grab the fruits of our labors here. Oops, that's not what I want. Nope, I don't want to do that. Nope. God nation, goddamn lurk, like a knackin'. Let's smack this. Grab it. Ooh, I got a large zonite. I think that's good. It's probably good. Uh, are these little bombs over here? Oops, don't hit the zonite. What are these things? Are they like pressure switch bombs? I'm going to be a little careful here. Let me grab this first. Yep. Giant Bright Bloom Seed times five. I haven't tried to use one of those yet. I want to drop these on here and see what happens. Oh, they're like timed explosives. I could have done that. Okay. Interesting. Interesting. This is so cool. I just, I don't know how I'm ever going to finish this game. There's just so much to do. I wonder how much Zonite I have now. I still, it, it seems like there's, you need so much to actually uh, get any of the upgrades for the batteries. Why am I sliding on this stuff? Okay, I just want to make sure I'm not missing any Zonite. Then we'll go back up to the surface and we'll talk to Joshua. And this is just going to be a whole thing down here. I don't know if this they're going to be like main story things that we have to do down here, or if it's kind of a grinding area where you can get Zonite, you can get weapons, you can power up a little bit, come down and get bomb flowers and such. <sighs> so good. So freaking good. All right, let's go back to Lookout Landing. Ugh. The trouble with this game and the trouble with playing it on the channel is that I feel like I can only play when I'm recording and I can't record all the time. So if I was playing this game by myself, it might be, you know, later at night when I can't be loud, I can't be yelling into my microphone. I would just turn it on and I'd play and I'd do a little bit, 
play around half an hour here, 20 minutes there. I can't really do that if I'm recording unless you guys give me permission. And that's what I think I've decided is that I'm going to do main story stuff as much as I can determine whether something is going to be a main story thing. I will record that stuff, but I might do a little grinding. I might do a little exploration. I might even turn on a tower or two by myself. And hopefully you guys won't mind that because I really don't want to ruin my experience playing this game. This is kind of a seminal once in a generation sort of game. And I want to be able to enjoy it on my own as well. And don't worry, I'll show you the important stuff and we'll have fun in this series, but I might want to do some stuff on my own. We'll see. Success, says Robbie. Ah. Hey, you. Show Joshua that picture you took of the statue. The figure matches up pretty well, and it looks darn cool, too. Can I grab that Zonite behind her? This is it. This does match what's on the fragment. Hi. Thank you, swordsman. Just like on the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. On the slate, this figure must be showing people of some sort, whoever they were. Okay. Which confirms my theory that people lived in the depths. I'm sure we'll find more traces of them if we keep searching. This is a big, big, big discovery. Now what's next? The possibilities. There's so much more to research. Oh, but before I focus on that, there's something I want to give you as thanks for helping with this stage of my investigation. Our earlier surveys of the depths found all of this. What do you think it's for? Yay, an unusual mineral that has many purposes. Ancients extracted energy from it and refined it for the crafting of weapons and armor. Okay, so that is my zonite. I feel as if these contain some kind of strange power, like maybe it's energy for something. Anyway, they may help you in your search for Princess Zelda, so hopefully you find them useful. That fragment has helped us see the depths in a new way. Now we're closer to understanding one of its mysteries. I'm going to sift through everything that our surveys have brought back from down there. Maybe there are even more fragments that I can piece together. Goggles! Swordsman! Thank you so much for going to investigate the depths for me. All right. We did a side quest. I don't know if anyone has anything else to say here. Great job getting the picture of the figure that Joshua was looking for. She was pretty happy to see that statue. And I was thrilled to show you how to use the camera. Inspired, even. The Pura Pad has even more potential functions, you know. Listen up. Big update here. Your Pura Pad could be equipped with a sensor that detects shrines. Come on. Act more impressed. Yeah, we saw that in Breath of the Wild. I'm the first one in all of Hyrule who noticed the shrines after the upheaval, so I created a sensor to detect them. <sighs> Only thing is, I can't set it up here at Lookout Landing. Okay, we're going to have to go visit him. It'll be nearly impossible unless I'm at the Purapad Research Lab in Hateno Village. Okay. <laughs> That's right. It's a lab dedicated to the enhancement of the Purapad, which Pura and I developed. Once I'm in the lab you and you join me there, I can further improve your Purapad, starting with the sensor. You'll find the lab in East Nakluda, off in the southeast corner of Hyrule. On its far side is Hateno Village. Go a bit further than that, and you'll see a mighty peculiar place. Don't let the looks fool you. It's a cutting-edge lab. We've been there before, buddy. But for now, Josh's investigations are my main priority. We were there in Breath of the Wild. So until she gets further along, I'll be staying here for a while. So maybe we have to advance the plot in order for him to go to Hateno? Because I wonder if, if we just go to Hateno, he might not be there. Oh. I never noticed this door here before. Okay, so this is the dude up here who can give us the charges but I think we need to go to the mine first. I can't remember exactly how this works. We need to go to the forge to turn our zonite into crystallite. Oh, God damn it! I keep pressing B when I mean to press A. To turn our uh, zonite into crystallized charges or something. A few hoops to jump through. So what do we need here? Crystal refinery, take your crystallized charges, get producing. A hundred crystallized charges, and I have 18. Okay, so let's do a little experimentation here, or a little investigation. If we go to... Where was that? Okay, here's Crystal Refinery. Nachoya Shrine. Is that in the same area? Everything's kind of layered on top of each other, so it's hard to know where to go. Let's take a look. How much Zonite do I even have? I'm sure I don't have anywhere near enough to get another charge. And where do I get the control stick? I want the control stick. I also need more stamina so I can glide further if I go to these Sky Islands and then try to get to another Sky Island. Okay, so where's this thingy? Looks like in this direction. Steward Construct. Okay, Crystal Refinery. 
I can take your crystallized charges and use them to produce energy wells. Oh. Okay, I need the charges though. Yes, crystal charges da, 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 they're made by processing zonite. Zonite can be extracted. Da, 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 da. So the depths of the world below. Okay, so this isn't where I need to go. He's just doing the exact same thing that we could have done down on the surface. So I need the mining cave, which is here. But is this under this mass, I think? Damn it, how do I get to where I need to go here? I think I go out and jump down, maybe. Mining cave, mining cave. Uh, maybe. Is this it? Mining cave? Mining cave is here. So maybe it's over. Stop it. Over here? I want the rest of the wingsuit, too. Is this the right place? Looks like maybe... kind of. It's forge construct, so I don't know. I don't know if we're going the right place. Is this the mining cave? This is not the mining cave. Cons darn it. Okay, I'm going to try to look for the mining cave. I think maybe it's down below me still. Oh, that's it over there. I think that's it over there. Do, 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 do. Maybe there was an entrance on this part, though, too. I don't know. You would think they would have a fast travel point to the mining cave or right to where you need to process your zonite. But we found it. I just don't think I have anywhere near enough, but we shall see. And maybe the zonite in here is replenished. I don't know how that works. Maybe you have to have a blood moon or something where it resets the world. Oh, oh, this is replenished. Rat bloom seeds. I think we're going to go through a lot of those too if we explore the, the, the depths. So we'll need a lot of them. Okay, this is a bit of a bit of a jog. Okay, look, yeah, this is replenished. That is good. Grab it. Man, it's gonna take so many. If it takes a hundred of the crystallized, char crystallized charges, whatever the hell it's called, and then the zonite, I think it takes several zonite to make one charge. It's gonna be a while. Okay, there were uh, nodes over there that you could break, but they're not back. So maybe they don't really replenish. So he, these are the charges. Crystallized charge. It takes three zonite for one charge. Yikes. <sighs> Take as many as we can get. Okay, so I still have 90 pieces. Wait until he's processed more. Can I make a fire and wait? Oh, here's some more. Let's see if we can do that. I don't know what will trigger him recharging this. Is there a cook pot near here? Or I could just throw some wood down, I guess. Uh, where is everything? Wood. Drop. And then we need some flint. Or I just, I guess I could have one of those Zonai devices that would make it light on fire, but... Flint, flint, flint. Where is the flint? Where's flint? I know I have flint. I must have passed it. Hold on, gang. <laughs> the menu is also is always the ultimate boss for me. Okay, we'll drop that. All right, let's get a metal weapon. I don't even know if I have a metal weapon, actually. Uh, does that count as a metal weapon? I don't know if it does. Okay, it worked. All right, let's rest. Until morning. Hopefully that'll mean that they recharge their crystallized charges. Nope. <laughs> Damn it. <sighs> we could try it again. He won't let me steal these, will he? No. No. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. Uh, let's try that again. Boom, boom, ba, ba, boom. Nope. God, niche. Frickin'. I had it there and I ruined it. Come on. 
There it is. One more try. So maybe they'll do a whole 24 hour period and then maybe it'll work. Okay, so that's not gonna work. Uh, <laughs> some of the Zonite does seem to be slowly recharging here, which is nice. We need it. And I guess we'll just have to keep checking back here and trading in the Zonite, getting more charges. At the moment I have, where are my crystalline charges? That's weird. I guess it's in Zonite devices. Oops. Key items. Oh, okay. So I have 28 of those. We need many, 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 72, 72. All right. So we have many things that we could be doing here. We have our adventure log. We were still going towards the Rito area. Let's do regional phenomena again. Oh, let's go to our map and we'll go down to the surface. And we will go back to where we were trying to get to. It was the Makurikus Shrine near Tabantha Bridge Stable. And we can go across that bridge. Let's see what's going on. We could take a more direct route, obviously. But I kind of like going over the road. It seems like you run into more things. I'm glad that we're kind of doing some of these quests because it's giving us things. So now we have the camera. I should remember to take some pictures. If I take a picture of a shrine, is that a thing? What if I take a picture of this? Get it in frame. I don't know if that put anything in my compendium or not. Okay, there's the bridge. Let's go. So that is some wood. Let's take a picture of these things. Wood. Does that go in my compendium? Here is some flint. Okay, let's see if that went in my compendium. Creatures, monsters, materials. It didn't go into materials. Huh. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. Doesn't matter. Hey, everybody. I'm not going to get a horse out at the moment, I don't think. Because we'll probably want to be gliding here. What have we got here? Like little windmills and stuff. I think I vaguely remember some of this stuff from Breath of the Wild. I would assume something will attack us on the bridge, but I'm still thinking in kind of a FromSoft Soulsborne kind of mentality where usually a giant dragon would come down and strafe you with fire. Eh, maybe not. Maybe I should have gotten a horse. <laughs> this would go a lot more quickly. But then I would always have to abandon it at some point because I'd have to climb something or fly somewhere. All right, here we go. We're grooving on down the road. I'll call you if I see anything. Oh, it's a sign guy. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Wait a minute. You'll have to wait, sign guy. We're using recall on this. I'm going to see where this takes us. Here we go. This is so cool. Oh, look at these ruins. Oh, what is that? Oh my god, look at that. It's like a three-headed dragon. I think that's the... Oh, the air has become very cold. Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> let's put on some pants. Am I still freezing? I'm still freezing. Uh, do I have for cold? Yeah, spicy elixir. Am I okay now? Okay, holy crap. Uh, look at that thing. I'm not seeing any shrines either, by the way. I want, I wanted a shrine. Look at, it's a thing. It's a three-headed dragon. I probably shouldn't go to that. It will probably kill me. 
And there's no fast travel point there that I can see. Oh, there's another thing that just fell. I don't see any... Oh, yeah, there are Skylands right there. Oh, man. There are just too many options. Way too many options. Oh, there's a thing here. Let's see what this is. We'll go help the sign guy in a second, but of course we're going to get distracted. Eh, I guess it's just ruins. Doesn't seem like there's actually anything here. Can I move these things? No. Hmm. There's a little pile. I bet if I burn this. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to burn it. If I can find the burny bits. There we go. Korok. Oh. Korok. Hey! Yeah. Ha ha ha, you found me! Excellent. We'll be visiting Hestu eventually. I don't really have enough to do another uh, weapon inventory slot, I don't think. So I'm going to wait till I have that. I don't want to waste them on shields and bows and stuff and such right now. All right, going back to the sign guy. A blue fox. Oh, no, that's a wolf. Oh, okay. Is he going to kill me? Yeah, he wants to kill me. Let's use this. Why can't I target him? Maybe he's not attacking me. I feel bad hurting wolves. But I'm doing it anyway, aren't I? Ow! Why can't I target him? This is weird. It's not letting... Oh my god. It's not letting me target him. Uh, let's eat some of this. Steamed meat. Oh, okay. Skydiving mobility. Yep, that was not from the food. I can't target this asshole. Oh, you son of a bitch. What is going on? That was really weird. I just could not target him no matter what. We got some prime meat, though. All right, let's help this guy out. So this is interesting. It has a little notch in it. So if we make a frame around it, Let's go with this. Grab this. If I put it in here, kind of figure out where this notch is going to be. Okay, it's not working out here. Get in the notch. Get in the notch. It's not going to get in the notch. Let's get it straight. There we go. And then if I just drop it down directly under. Oh, it didn't go directly under. Maybe if I just actually drop it. It's kind of lined up. Maybe. See, I'm trying to line it up there so then I get something here. We go like so. Uh, like so. Is that going to be too high? Actually, I guess if I put it here. Uh, it's kind of wobbly. Let's see what happens. Can you see where my mind is, gang? Can you figure out what I'm trying to do here? Let's do this. Like so. gonna stay upright I think so let me get one of these maybe this guy place this actually I guess I can't do that yet let's drop that oh no it's gonna knock it over ah geez that was close we'll get this last cross piece go like this I want it like this. 
Okay, don't knock it over, Link. Don't knock it over. Get it in there. Get it up in that notch. Where's the notch? I can't see the notch. There we go. Okay, attach. Okay. So it looks like that thing is going to fall that way, though. So I need to brace it from the other direction. So we'll lift this. Nope. Nope. Let's go like this. Damn it. Let me get these controls better. Okay. Like that. And we'll brace this like this. Maybe. <laughs> okay. I guess it could still fall over the other way. Let's see what happens. Let's see. Try letting go. Hey, we did it. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. How's the president standing? That was brilliant. I would never have thought of it. Oh, right. Let's get him secured while he's still standing. Put this here, get this fastened, and... Hey! Ah. Perfect. With your help, President Hudson is now standing proudly and firmly in place. It fills my heart with joy to see him doing so well on his own. Take this with my thanks. 20 rupees. Nothing <laughs> to sneeze at. Must be hungry. Spicy veggie rice balls. That's good. They're giving me cold resistance because I think we're going to be getting into that soon. Still don't feel like I thanked you enough. Special gift. Another sleepover ticket. I don't want to use these because I want to get my points from my pony points. All right. Uh, whoa, who's that? It's a Rito. Let's go talk to the Rito. Hello, Birdman. I'm going to train. Again today, to become an all-time great Rito warrior. Mm. Ah, who are you? Someone else who, who aspires to greatness? Ah. Guess you heard my little pep talk to myself. Uh, talk about embarrassing. For us Rito, our ability to control the wind is one of our big advantages in fighting monsters. That's why I train here every day. Oh. Aren't you curious what kind of training I'm talking about? Ah. Of course you are. I, I use these sweet wings of mine to return the balls that fly at me, pushing them back one after the next. What do you think? You got a lot of balls flying at his face, huh? Want to give it a try? Sure. Mm. Ha! Think you can wing them like me? Then let me tell you how the setup works. <laughs> oh, it's a Goron. See that impressive tower back there? We built that baby just for this. <laughs> the guy operating the tower is Tabult. I kept him on retainer so I can train. Ah. Tabot will lob balls at you. The game is to return them to the moving basket. So I'm supposed to ah. catch these, maybe. Total of 12 balls coming at you. Getting a green ball in is worth one point, but a red ball nets you three. I don't see a featherless guy like you doing it my way, though. I'll let you use any tools or mysterious powers you've got going for you to return them. I charge 20 rupees so I can keep Tabot on retainer. So, think you can return the balls? I guess I don't oh. quite understand what's going on, but I'm assuming we're going to use Alter Hand. Let me go tell Tabot we're on. It won't be long. Okay. I think this will probably be the last thing we do in this episode. I have no idea what we're going to gain from this. I would like an example of what we're doing here. Okay. Uh, I'm itching to start, and once I get going, I don't stop till it's over. Okay. Alter hand. Where are the balls? Oh. Oh, God, this is going to be so freaking hard. How do I... Uh, <laughs> this is ridiculous. Got one. This is, this is so hard. Uh, this is so hard. I can't even, I don't even have Ultra Hand equipped right now. How many are we doing here? Got it. That's too quick. This is ridiculous. I pressed Ultra Hand, I swear. Oh, for God's sake. Damn it. 
This is impossible. <laughs> I hate this. There's got to be something I'm missing here. This is way too difficult. Is that it? Oh my god, I got three in. Okay, Ornist. Wait right there, I'll be over in a second. I worked up a sweat watching you. That was that was very difficult. There's got to be a better way. Maybe I could recall them at him. Your score is five points. That's not half bad. Maybe I've been underestimating Highlands. You're more resourceful than I thought. Uh -huh. You deserve something for putting on a good show. Take this. Okay. I'm sure there's a much better prize if you do something better. Uh, okay. I'll pass for now. Even the greatest word is blah, 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 blah. Let me mark this. This is something we can come back to at some point. I will mark it with a, a star, I guess. The ball game. Having balls flung at your face, and you have to try to fling them back. If I do recall, though, they're not going to land in the basket. They're just going to go back to him. Maybe I could just end recall. But I don't know if it would be easier, any easier to grab them with recall than it would be to grab them with ultra hand anyway. All right, gang. I'll do a few more minutes. We're still walking down the road here. And I'm assuming it's going to take us to a snowy place eventually. Once again, I will call you if I see anything. There's something. Hey, that was easy. Ha ha ha, you found me. Korok seed, beautiful. Thank you. Keep going. Okay, we have a few enemies. One enemy right now. Guess we have to use. Well, I just I'll still use one of the weaker bows. Oh, there's a lot more. Ugh, whatever. Hey! I didn't realize this was a two-handed weapon, so I don't have my shield. Here. Oh, for God's sake. Not great. Not great. Okay. Got him. We do have a cook pot here. I should mark this. Uh, mark it with a cook pot. Beautiful. Okay, that wasn't really anything. Nothing too spectacular there. We're still going down the road. Hmm, there's something else going on over here that looks interesting. It looks like maybe this is going to take me up more close to where I want to go. Or I could just keep following the road. But there are more bacoblins on this path. Oh, wow, a blue one fighting somebody. Interesting. Blue ones are tough, at least for us right now, because we're not very uh, powerful as far as hearts and such. He's almost dead. Now he is. A little further. Oh, we got more wolves. I don't know how to do, deal with the wolves, man. There are a lot of wolves. Dope. They're tough. Let's use one of these. <laughs> He's on fire. He's on fire. I can't target the wolves. That's the weirdest thing. I mean, I'm targeting it with my bow, but when I press the left trigger to target target, it does not work. It's weird that they ran away, because usually in Breath of the Wild, they would just surround you and just completely screw you over. Okay, we've got some more powerful enemies here, gang. 
I'm not sure that we want to do this right now. Oh, I feel bad. I feel bad. They make that dog whimper. I don't like the dog whimper. All right, gang. I mean, we've already gotten off track. We we're supposed to be following the road. I'm not sure what we're going to find here. This is Nero Hill. But I guess we will assault this stronghold in the next episode of Stuff and Things Plays. A lot of good exploration. Lots of good just finding out how things work in the game. That's always useful. Maybe I'll climb this and see what's going on. Uh, but we'll figure it out in the next episode. Until next time, tell me it again. I'm going to get to I'll see you later. I think it all the way up here.